Whoops. Sorry, guys. Left the microphone on. Um, so, yeah. Hey, what's going on, folks? Sunday, June 16th, Father's Day, and uh, here we are. Seeing people in chat. Got uh, all kinds of uh, stuff going on here. And, uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's have a good. Uh, let's have a uh, good streaming. And of course, uh, right now that's when my wife decides to text me. So yeah, hey, what's going on, folks? Uh, SparkfromBladeForums.com here, and uh, right now we are uh, getting ready to do the uh, thing uh, for BladeForums.com's or BladeForums.com. Uh, 20th anniversary year of giveaways. This week is week 24. Next week is week 25, uh, which means week after that is week 26, which puts us at halfway point for uh, the 52 weeks. Um, this week we are going to be giving away the Benchmade 535 Bug Out in blue. Uh, it has the Bladeforms.com logo uh, laser, en <laughs> laser engraved on it by uh, Benchmade. And, um, yeah, S, uh, S30V uh, steel blade, blue GVL6H, uh, groovery handle, um, deep carry pocket clip that's reversible onto either side. Uh, this was the first bug out that they did. They have since come out with the, uh, uh, the bug out 535 GRY-1 with the uh, green handle and the black blade and the uh, Benchmade Gold Edition uh, bug out, which is super cool. Um, right now, I don't know if you can hear it, it just literally started opening up raining here, uh, as usual for, uh, Sunday here at, at the, uh, Bladeforms.com, uh, offices, and, uh, yeah, you know, usual stuff's going on. Um, is the, uh, we've also got questions in chat, is the bug out really any better than the Param 2? Well, it's a different knife, um... The bug out versus the uh, para two, um, you know, different knives, different purposes. The bug out is, uh, you know, lightweight GVL six H uh, grivery uh, handle. You know, you've only got partial um, liners in here, so this thing really just doesn't weigh much at all. The uh, para two has got uh, full G ten uh, handle scales and the uh, uh, steel liners. Unless you're talking about the para two lightweight, in which case it may be a draw. Um, the bug out has a much narrower blade uh, than the um, para two. You know where spider co you get the big hump right here due to the. Uh, I mean, here's a Manix two for comparison. Yeah, the you can see that the uh, opening hole uh, really makes the knife much uh, much larger um, in height. So that results in all that stuff. Uh, you know, being just a, a little bit larger uh, pocket carry. Also. Um, Week 25 uh, giveaway is going live, as I mentioned, for the Spyderco uh, Manix 2 that we're going to be giving away. Um, this uh, Spyderco was nice enough to put the Bladeforms.com logo on the back of the blade here. It even says 20th anniversary along the top there. So someone's going to be winning a uh, unique knife. Um, as always, we have a uh, live stream prize pack that we'll be doing. However, I was an idiot and forgot to gather all the components. So you are just going to have to trust me that uh, that it's going to be awesome. Actually, give me just a second here, and I'll go grab something off the uh, giveaway shelf. And uh, we'll get it going on. All right, so... Do, do, do. Yep. So, as always... All right, here we go. So, yeah, uh, sorry about that, guys. I uh, had to run over to the giveaway shelf and grab a couple things. Uh, this isn't the uh, full complement of giveaway live stream uh, prize pack stuff here. It's just some stuff I grabbed from the uh, giveaway shelf. So, you know, as always, we will we'll be giving away uh, some K-Bar stickers that we have left. Uh, another sticker from another company. I don't remember who this is. Um, I don't know. Should I give away the uh, prized Hillary Clinton uh, urinal sticker? Uh, you guys uh, let me know. I don't know if I should give that away or not. Um, we'll also be giving away the SE Arrowhead. Um, 
that'll go in the live stream uh, prize pack. We've still got a few dozen of those, so that'll be, uh, be given away. Um, somebody may win some soy sauce uh, from the pile of desk crap that I always give away each week. And then, um, oh yeah, we've got uh, fan favorite, um, the bladeforums.com trademark uh, gas station hobo knife. Uh, this time an eagle-eyed knife uh, from Frost Cutlery. Uh, Three-inch closed lockback stainless steel blade with thumb hole opener. I know you guys cannot wait to check out the quality of this bad boy here. Um, strangely lacking in hobo juice. Um, for some reason, this has not been coated with unknown bodily fluids and weirdness. Uh, this one seems to be relatively intact in its natural gas station uh, state. So um, this thing is, yeah, uh, super, super not sharp. Uh, made of only the finest Chinesium stainless rust-free steel. Uh, some sort of polymer handle, lockback, and yeah, one of you guys will be winning this in the live stream uh, giveaway. So yeah, exactly. Brandon G, no hobo juice, no care. Uh, that's cool. Um, you know, somebody will win. Might as well be you. So yeah, uh, let's see here. What's going on in uh, the chat here? Iron Kid, Iron Kid eight eight three. Bug out is cheaper. Uh, what steel is the para VG10? I believe it depends on the uh, model of the paramilitary too, or the paramilitary um, that you're getting. I mean, the paramilitary that will be given away is um, is S30V uh, here, so it's the same steel as the bug out. So not really, uh, you know, unless if the para lightweight uh, is a different steel, I am not sure. Um, but yeah, we have uh, you know otherwise they're very very similar. Um, sorry folks, I am just out of it. I took too long of a nap this afternoon for my Father's Day, and, uh, you know, I'm just I'm not recovering, I guess. I need to drink some of my, my uh, purple drink. David Horning loves his Blade Forms uh, t-shirt that he won last week. That's awesome. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, Manic, yeah, sorry, this is a Manic, so it'll be given away. I don't have a pair of two by my desk. Uh, to show you all, um, I could go get a pair of three out of the display case, but that doesn't do anything either. So yeah, all right, let's uh, let's talk about stuff that's uh, going on this week uh, here in the uh, news. Um, first and foremost, uh, remember that Knife Rights is out there uh, defending your knife freedom, and you can um, support Knife Rights uh, with your Amazon.com uh, purchases simply by going to smile.amazon.com and selecting a charity. As you can see here on my uh, screen, I have selected the Knife Rights Foundation. I got an email um, yesterday or uh, late last week that they had uh, gotten about two grand, two and a half grand uh, this quarter from Amazon purchases. Uh, so every little bit, you know, I don't, I personally don't use Amazon that much, but if you use Amazon, every little bit uh, helps. So make sure you support, uh, make sure you go to smile.amazon.com and support Knife Rights. In the meantime, let's uh, go over to kniferights.com and take a look at uh, what's been going on this week. All right, so Knife Rights uh, supported Bill. Uh, to strengthen uh, Texas preemption law as signed by governor. Um, basically, they, um, basically, knife rights uh, went out and had the, or lobbied for the law to be changed uh, because they had uh, restrictions on firearms and knife uh, sales uh, through use of zoning and other ordinances. And, um, sorry, I've got the uh, screen shrunk here and I can't see what's what's on the screen all right um basically you know the texas law restricted where you could carry knives and uh, they also had a, a law that uh, banned clubs tomahawks uh, and you know trench knives that have knuckles uh, so it also uh, um, legalized carrying brass knuckles in texas you know for a state you would think you know with the public perception of Texas being gun capital of the U.S., you would think they would have uh, less restrictions than they do. But Texas actually has a massive uh, amount of uh, firearms knife restrictions compared to a lot of the other states out there. So it's good to see Knife Rights is able to enact a positive change on that. And to, uh, you know, compare to other states, 
Um, a knife rights uh, Michigan knife law reform bill was introduced where uh, HB 4722 that um, prohibited all knives from being carried concealed, um, you know, they're getting that reform introduced and they're going to try to get that uh, repealed. Uh, right now, HB 4722 would remove section 227.1 uh, entirely from the Michigan Penal Code. Uh, which says a person shall not carry a dirk or dagger, dirk, stiletto, double-edged, non-folding, stabbing instrument of any length or other dangerous weapon except a hunting knife adapted and carried as such, concealed or about his or her person, or whether concealed or otherwise in any vehicle operated or occupied by the person, except in his or her dwelling house, uh, place of business, or other land possessed. So basically, um, you know, this would ban all sorts of knives, uh, left it up to officer discretion, uh, so that, you know, people could get arrested, blah, blah, blah. And knife rights, um, you know, is getting that uh, repealed. In 2017, knife rights got the switchblade ban repeal enacted. So, you know, knife rights is uh, continuing the struggle here. All right. And what else is new? Um, the uh, DA and New York... Uh, um, Lawyers are trying to do uh, a mootness letter to prevent a Supreme Court case going up about uh, the uh, gravity knife uh, ban and gravity knife enforcement in uh, New York City. Uh, basically, uh, New York, we've been covering this for the last few weeks where... Um, where knife rights has been fighting for seven years to try to get uh, New York to uh, re get their laws repealed um, so that uh, New York City district attorneys wouldn't arrest people for having gravity knives, which in reality was any knife that they could open with a uh, flick of the wrist. I mean, even Sebenza's, you know, as long as a police officer could open it with a flick of the wrist, then uh, it was considered a gravity knife, and over 70,000 people were put in jail over this. Well, um, you know, after Heller, uh, the case started going through uh, the machinations for the Supreme Court. S um, it went up to the circuit. Uh, basically, New York City and state lost every appeal on, uh, on it that they tried. And when they saw that this was going to go all the way up to the, um, to the Supreme Court, then uh, they quickly changed the law um, to try to make the case moot because they knew that if New York lost a high-profile case like this, then it would have drastic repercussions for the anti-gun and anti-weapon uh, uh, people all over the country. Well, uh, they changed their law. Um, then uh, they said they were going to enforce um, gravity knife uh, bans on the subway, and now they're trying to get the case uh, mooted out, and it's just not going to happen. Um, knife rights is not letting this go, and uh, pretty much every circuit has just said, screw you, this case is going to the Supreme Court, doesn't matter whether you mooted it or not. Um, also, let's see, what else is going on? Let's see what is going on in chat here. Uh, purple drink, happy Father's Day. Yeah, happy Father's Day to all dads. I'm here with you guys. Uh, my kid is at home uh, waiting for me to go home and grill up steaks. So we're going to try to uh, <laughs> we're gonna try to rush through the broadcast uh, this week. Um, even though it is raining here, I'm going to make sure that I can go to the house and uh, get uh, um, stuff uh, grilled up. So yeah, happy Father's Day to all y'all. I guess uh, I'm your uh, community dad here with uh, Blade Forum. So happy uh, Father's Day uh, to all you guys, and uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy it. So let's uh, see what else is going. Uh, California sees surge in ammo sales ahead of new gun regulations. So California has long led the nation on firearms restrictions. Uh, they are basically where California goes, so does the rest of the country go on, on gun control. And they have pretty much every gun control uh, law you could want. You know, firearms registration, long gun registration, handgun registration, mandatory uh, training, uh, one gun a month law, assault weapons ban, high cap magazine ban, um, did I say mandatory training? Um, shut or may issue uh, permits, which effectively means no issue permits in a lot of situations, and uh, various other stuff. So basically, uh, last year California passed a uh, ballot initiative, I believe it was, where um, 
people in the state who wanted to, or they they made it so that if you're going to uh, buy ammo, you have to pass a background check. Uh, this was Proposition 63, which was a cornerstone of Gavin Newsom's uh, complaint uh, campaign back in 2016. It's getting ready to go into effect in July 1st. So, you know, basically now, um, instead of you know, the criminals weren't uh, buying ammo through the normal thing anyhow. This is just affecting the law abiding, just like the criminals were still getting high cap mags, the criminals were still getting machine guns and silencers. The criminals weren't uh, buying their guns through um, gun stores. And now it's uh, just going to be that more people are going to be hindered um, by the restrictions. So, yeah. Uh, California is getting ready to do that. Uh, it's making, you know, in the gun community, if you guys aren't members of the uh, online uh, gun community where people uh, meme the hell out of stuff, people are talking about, man, I got, you know, four cases of 5.56. Five, um, you know, I'm about to fund my retirement by uh, smuggling this stuff into California. So, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, in the meantime, let's... Uh, Let's break down uh, what's going on here and uh, take a look. Um, this is, uh, yeah, week uh, 25 of uh, the giveaways is now live. So here's the thread. Make sure that you go to the... Uh, Make sure you go to the thread on bladefarms.com and enter. Um, nothing's changed in the last 24 weeks. Uh, basically, you have to be a... Um, if you register before November 2nd, uh, 2018, which was our uh, 20th anniversary, then you are eligible to uh, enter in for the giveaway for the uh, Spyderco uh, Manix next week. Um, giveaway drawing uh, entries will shut on June 22nd at midnight. So um, if you've got a register, if you're a registered user, you know, you don't have a, uh, a paid membership, you have to send a letter to 8007 Vinecrest Avenue, um, Suite number six, Louisville, Kentucky, 40222, saying your username, your post number, and, um, you know, why you want the knife. That is how the registered users enter. Uh, that is a, we do that because it is designed to prevent people from registering uh, free profiles and spamming the hell out of the forums. For some reason, nobody sends in these letters that uh, qualifies them for the uh, drawing, which is too bad because a number of the free users uh, who, you know, otherwise entered into the forums, you know, have been picked and they never send a letter. So, you know, they aren't eligible to win. <coughs> but like I said, letter needs to have your real name, uh, username, post number, your real address. When we have that, then your entry is counted and you are eligible for the prizes. If you don't send the letter, you don't, you aren't eligible for the prizes. If you have a paid subscription, basic, gold, platinum, knife maker, dealer, uh, pirate, you know, if you have one of the paid subscriptions, then it doesn't matter if you registered yesterday, you're automatically eligible to win the grand prize in any of the giveaway threads. And so that's how it's gone so far. Uh, people that have paid subscriptions are, are winning all the prizes, and the people uh, who don't have paid subscriptions because they're not sending the letters are not getting anything. So, yeah, uh, that's what happens. Um, what am I reading here? Iron Kid... 883. We had a knife related death in the family. Big Bad Gulf's cousin was murdered on Tuesday, stabbed in the neck. Dude, that that sucks. Um, man, uh, heart goes out to you guys. I hate to, that uh, that happened to you. Um, you know, my sympathies. I hope that the murderer's caught. Uh, God knows uh, what uh, you're all court system and prison system is like, but hopefully uh, the person. Uh, if this was, you know, hopefully the person's caught, arrested, and and pays the penalty for it. I am sorry to hear about that. Um, yeah. Uh, that sucks. Don't forget the crazy week where you want our Facebook birth certificates or something like that. No, I just wanted uh, uh, people to subscribe to... Uh, uh, yeah, I just want people to join the bladeforms.com channel... Um, sorry, I'm reading the chat here where Iron Kid is talking about his uh, dead, uh, his murdered uh, cousin. 
uh, on the main street of Dublin. He was caught straight away. He's in prison. I mean, has this guy got, uh, I'm sure, you know, nobody stabs somebody else and it doesn't have a, pro, you know, without provocation, doesn't have a prior record. So I'm sure that uh, dude has been uh, uh, in and out of the system. And you have my my sympathy, man. I'm sorry that uh, the shit's been going on for you. And, uh yeah, this is, uh, that's awful, man. I, I'm really, really sorry to hear this for you. Um, you have my sympathy, and I'm sure everyone else in the channel's uh, sympathy right now. And wow, uh, that is truly awful. Um, gosh, I don't know even how to uh, go on from that. Um, yeah, man, that that sucks. Uh, well, man, uh, you have, you know, you have our sympathy here, and we're glad you're with us. We're glad it didn't happen to, uh, we're glad that it didn't happen to you, um, and, or, you know, your kids or anything like that. So, um, you know, please, you know, stay safe and, uh, try to resist the impulse to, to do anything rash after his death. Um... So, yeah, uh, get back on track. For those of you who haven't tuned into the live broadcast before, um, here's what we do. Uh, we, uh, we've we talked about the um, the giveaway process where you have to be a registered user from November 2nd, uh, 2018 or prior, or a paid subscriber. You have to post in the uh, giveaway thread, um, which you can see here up on the screen. Here's the Mannix giveaway thread. And here is the uh, bug out giveaway thread, which is what we'll be um, doing this week. Um, this week's drawing will be for the bug out. And, uh, you know, when you do enter the contest, we always ask that you guys um, that you guys choose or help vote for the next week. Um, obviously, the spider Commandix 2 won uh, for next week's uh, giveaway with 231 votes. And uh, we've got the uh, Manix 2 going on right now. So if you enter into that contest, or even if you don't enter, please vote for, um, please vote for, you know, whichever one you think uh, you'd like to see. Right now it looks like the uh, K-Bar Becker BK5 Magnum Camp will be the uh, winner uh, for next week, for week 26's giveaway. Um, but, you know, who knows? It's, uh, we still got a few days. The other prizes um, that we give away each week are a bladeforms.com sticker that when that beep, when pulled or when pulled from the backer sheet looks just like the logo here in the corner. Um, the bladeforms.com Velcro uh, patch that, as you can see, looks just like the uh, logo in the corner there. Uh, we also have a bladeforms.com logo T-shirt that you can see over my. Uh, left shoulder uh, behind me you can see the back of the t-shirt there and then it also has a small bladeforms.com logo on the front left um we do a uh, membership where um you know if the person uh does not have a membership they're given a gold membership if they uh, do have a uh, existing paid subscription then they get either an upgrade to gold if it's a basic or uh, they get their existing gold or platinum or knife maker um extended for another year so yeah um meanwhile because i'm unprepared i didn't write down all my uh, high-tech graph paper um the things for who's gonna win or the uh notifications for who's gonna win so yeah i'm writing that down right now membership uh grand prize and live stream all right, so yeah, that's how it goes. So here's uh, here's what we're going to do right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give away the sticker so that you all can see how this works. Uh, we do that is I go to random.org, and as you can see here, you've got two numbers, uh, 1 and 100. So by going to the giveaway thread um, for the Benchmade bug out, we go to the last page on the thread. The very last post is page or is post number 598. You can see that up on your screen there. So by going back to random.org, um, I take the second post because my post is the first post and the last post, which is 598, and I put them in here. And when I hit the generate button, it will pick a person uh, or it will pick a post from um, between two 
and 598. And whoever gets picked is the person that wins. In this case, the Bladeforms.com sticker, uh, but also, you know, the Bladeforms.com patches or the uh, Bladeforms.com um, t-shirt, the membership, whatever we're, we happen to be giving away at the moment. So, um, you know, that's how it works. We use random.org so that nobody can accuse me of nepotism and just picking favorites out of a hat. Um, and when it comes time for the live stream giveaway later on, we will also be doing um, a random name picker website here that you can see where I enter in all the usernames, hit the button, and it pulls up um, the... Uh, it, it pulls up the person in question. So um, we're going to go to the um, giveaway thread. We're going to do the uh, Bladeforms.com sticker giveaway real quick, cover the bases with that, and uh, let you see how it's done. So let's go to random.org here. We're going to hit the Generate button. Well, it helps if I go to the right screen. Hit the Generate button and post number 155. So now we will go to the giveaway thread. <clears throat> All right, post number 155 should be on page, I think, eight. So, 141. 154, 155. So uh, the sticker was won by post number 155, and post number 155 is lone underscore wolf. Uh, for those of you who don't know, lone wolf is um, a huge Chris Reeve Knives uh, fan. I believe uh, they uh, manage one of the Chris Reeve Knives uh, collectors groups on Facebook, and uh, they're one of the pack leaders for the Chris Reeve Knives crew here on Blade Farm. So yeah, uh, it's good to see that uh, she won or they won. I'm not sure if uh, they're male or female. Um, the BladeForms.com uh, sticker, and that's how it goes. So yeah, uh, that's exactly how easy it is. Lone Wolf has a, uh, as you can see, Lone Wolf has a. Uh, Platinum membership. Lone Wolf registered back in 2011. Lone Wolf uh, meets all the criteria for the giveaway, so they get the uh, uh, get that. Um, looking in chat, no love for the new non-members. Um, not, I mean, if you're not a member, how would you? Uh, um, if you're not a member, how would you get into the uh, uh, giveaway? Why should I love you at all? You. you you know, I've, I've worked and I've slaved for 20 years to provide you guys with this never-ending uh, Dante's Inferno-style uh, torture of Bladeforms.com, and you guys aren't even members? What the heck? Now, I, I get that stuff all the time. People are like, oh, Bladeforms.com, yeah. Oh, I use that to research everything. And oh, no, the, I didn't join up. But, you know, that's how it is. So yeah, um, what is the highest number in a week so far? I have no idea who uh, what the highest number has been um, for giveaways. I think I think we had like over a thousand people uh, sign in for, or over a thousand people, uh, you know, post for the Bussy uh, Combat Flakjack um, that we gave away back in like week one or week two. Um, a lot of people wanted that Bussy knife. Um, yeah, we've had uh, we've had uh, well over you know 500 people, you know 800 people for some of the stuff we've given away. Uh, I think the Emerson one was like eight or nine hundred uh, people. So it's you know it's been uh, you know a lot of these have had a, a lot of it. But hey, let's you know what? Instead of even trying to guess, let's uh, let's go to the uh, giveaway thread screen here, and we can see how many. Uh, how many people have uh, gone in? So let's see. Spider Command X2 only has 106. Bug Out 597. Uh, Ultimate Hunter 380. Chimera 356. Da, da, da. Okay, so a bunch of 400s, 480s. Uh, 614 for the paramilitary uh, 2 in uh, black. Uh, that was on week 14. And let's see, week 13, 397, 316, uh, 317, 608 for the Ontario Bushcraft Woodsman, uh, 538 for the um, 
Macax 686 for the first Urban Trapper that we did on week 8. Uh, the Kaiser Laconico Gemini 824, the Emerson um, Knife Prize Pack over 1,000. The Buck Custom Shop 110 758, uh, the Benchmade uh, Limited Edition Proper 871, Bossy Combat Flak Jack 1100. And uh, the Spyderco Shaman Pin, uh, 1138. So, yeah, week one of the uh, year of giveaways uh, with the Spyderco Shaman Pin um, had 1100, uh, 1138 people uh, that registered for it. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's awesome. All right. Uh, when did... Okay. Uh, apparently, Big Bad Golf is... Oh, hey. What's up, Big Bad Golf? Uh, sorry for your loss. Uh, we've been commiserating with your husband for a few minutes, but yeah, good to see you guys. Um, I'm sitting here looking at the the YouTube live uh, stream uh, video does not look, uh, or YouTube's uh, live stream uh, preview video window is about 10, 15 seconds behind. Uh, what's going on? I'm sitting there looking at it. I'm like, <laughs> looking like the internet merchant. <laughs> you know, sitting here washing my hands and looking uh, crazy on it. So I, I guess I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing uh, on the uh, video. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. We've given away the Bladeform sticker. Uh, next up, we're going to give away the Bladeforms.com Velcro patch. So let's get back over to random.org and we will pick another winner here so when I hit the generate button as you can see post number 133 so post number 133 on uh, the giveaway thread 133 should be on page 7 all right so T-O-A-L um, 99 T-O-A-L 99 wins or 299 um, wins the bladeforms.com uh, Velcro patch so yeah that's how simple it is oh cool Andy Moon's here Mark Grant let's everybody uh, everybody say hi to uh, uh, Mark Grant Mark Grant is one of our new uh, people so hi Mark Grant, try not to be too frightened uh, by all of the uh, shenanigans and chicanery and crazy stuff that uh, crazy uh, stuff that's going on here in the uh, chat. So yeah, what's uh, what's going on, folks? We've got uh, 23, 24 people uh, connected concurrently, so that's awesome. Uh, glad to see we've got a number of people here. Uh, hopefully I haven't pulled too many of you all away from your families on Father's Day here in the U.S. Um, apparently, uh, yeah, we got uh, Dianos in here. Dianos is new. Hi, Dianos. I haven't uh, seen your name. Uh, oh, okay. Andy Moon is MQQN. I believe MQQN... Um, I believe you've won a prize in the past weeks, right, MQQN? So yeah, um, yeah, good to see, uh, good to see some new people uh, on here watching. Good to see, um, you know, some of the same people in my new house in Tennessee. The kids are all up in uh, Illinois. So yeah. Always, yeah, everybody, well, hey, uh, Deanna says, always end up missing the show and watching after the fact. Good thing you got here today. That puts you uh, eligible to win. So, yeah, 5.34 p.m. It's uh, stopped raining here. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, wow, uh, it's stopped raining here. So I'm going to try to uh, breeze through this, and we will get the, uh, uh, stuff going on here and get the live stream prize pack and stuff like that uh, done so that way we, I can head home uh, grill some steaks and spend some time with my boy I'm I, I've been contemplating um, I've been contemplating switching the broadcast day from Sunday to Saturday but you know I don't think I should do that because it wouldn't give people a, uh, a full week to get in entered in on the forums um, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure uh, how I should handle it. Um, 
but yeah oh yeah make sure that you uh, like and comment on the uh, uh, the live stream uh, uh, video that's going on right now hit the or hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the bell button all that usual YouTube live streamer video uh, influencer stuff that apparently helps our metrics I don't know um, I don't know how any of that stuff works just hit like hit subscribe share it with uh, your kids on Facebook um, you know get the knowledge out there because uh, we want uh, bladeforms.com to succeed and uh, be seen everywhere uh, so yeah um, that's how it is we are now up to the t-shirt uh, entry um, as you can see over my left shoulder here we have bladeforms.com logo t-shirts unfortunately We've given away so many t-shirts that we are now out of 3XL and 2XL t-shirts. All we have left are small, medium, large, and extra large uh, shirts left. So if you win the bladeforms.com logo t-shirt and you are like bigger than 2XL, got bad news for you, son. You're going to have to get like the old uh, bladeforms.com logo t-shirts that we have. Uh, we have some of those left. Uh, so yeah, we will uh, get you sorted though. Um, it's just an obvious shirt that you can wear. So yeah, um, so yeah, it's time to give away the uh, bladeforms.com uh, logo T-shirt. So let's hit the generate button. Post number five thirty-seven. So let's go to the giveaway thread. Post number 537 is going to be, whoops, on page 28, I believe. Nope, page 27. Okay, there we go. So let's scroll all the way down to the bottom here. Sly Hatchet, 537. S-L-Y Hatchet. Wins the Bladeforms.com um, T-shirts. Let me send him a message while I got you guys up on the screen here. Or maybe I won't. Yeah, okay. Uh, congrats, you won a BFC T-shirt. Please send your name and address and size. Small through XL. And we will get this right out. Oh, boom. So that's, uh, you can see how advanced my uh, screen thing is here. And boom, you know, that's that's what I do, folks. So I, uh, oh man, what knife is that? Is that Chris Reeve? No, that's not Chris Reeve. What, uh, what knife is that that he's got in that profile? Oh, I'm not sure. That's good looking, though. I love the wood handle there. So yeah, Sly Hatchet uh, with post number 537. Uh, wins the uh wins the uh, bladeforms.com logo t-shirt sly registered in june 3rd this is his third post ever look at this guy this guy has only made three posts ever and you know one of them's in the giveaway thread here and he's won a t-shirt so yeah that's awesome um <laughs> yeah so that's uh that's how it is oh let's see here we're getting, seeing some good stuff uh in the uh in the uh, thread or in the chat window 1600 private messages goddamn yeah no that's not that's not the best part dude that's let let me show you that's 1600 unread messages i've got like uh i've got like 4000 uh messages in the uh i've got like 4000 messages in my inbox I've just got 1,600 unread ones because I get that much stuff. So, yeah. You know, you guys wonder, why isn't Spark answering my stuff? Why isn't Spark answering the tech support stuff? Why isn't Spark doing this? Because I get inundated with uh, messages all the time. And I try to answer them all. But, uh, yeah, sometimes it doesn't work out. And I need to go back and uh, delete. So, yeah. Dude, so, yeah. Dude has uh, posted three times. Um and one of which is in the uh, uh, giveaway thread for the uh, bug out, and uh, he won. So, yeah. Uh, Andy Moon. I get uh, 40 emails an hour at work in the day, and he runs a dumpster fire. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Yeah, that, Uitsu, is that the founder's plan? Yeah, the uh, mods, I think. I think the mods get something like 1,000 private messages or something like that. 
is we just get you know the mods get something like a uh, you know insane amount of stuff. I've got you know I personally have a ten thousand uh, message um, inbox limit, and you know I've, I've hit like forty percent storage so far. So yeah, that's uh, that's how it is. So uh, five forty in the PM. Um, so yeah, we've given away the uh, T-shirt. We've given yeah, we've given away the uh, sticker. We've given away. We've given away the sticker. We've given away the Velcro patch. We've given away the T-shirt. So let's talk a little bit about what else is uh, going on in the U.S. Uh, here and um, around the world. I guess uh, Peter Swalwell is a fucking idiot. Um, he is a California congressman who thinks he's running for president. Polling around zero percent. He's made gun control um, the cornerstone of his campaign. Uh, the guy is running on a uh, ban and ban and buyback, i.e., confiscation platform. He says that the Second Amendment allows for gun control. In reality, he's saying that you know people should be able to license. Uh, or people should uh, be licensed. Um, people should be licensed to be able to have their Second Amendment. But this is what really irritates me here. He says that just like free speech, you can't shout fire in a theater or lie about the products you're selling. Um, you know, the people that say you can't you shout fire in a theater have no idea, or don't, are so fucking ignorant that the fire in a crowded theater argument was made by Wilson, or was made during World War One, and used to put people in jail who were protesting against our involvement in World War One. And it is like the exact opposite of what you want to do. It's used to, you know, the fire in a crowded theater uh, argument was used to sus suppress free speech and was overturned, um, you know, later on down the road. The guy is just fucking ignorant as hell. You can also see here, you can't own a bazooka. Well, dumbass, actually, you can open, own a bazooka. You know, under uh, federal law, the National Firearms Act of 1934, a fucking bazooka is considered a destructive device. You can own all the bazookas you want. It's a $200 tax stamp. It is, you know, a bazooka. I'll, uh, actually, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. A bazooka is considered no different than a, any other destructive device. A bazooka is regulated exactly the same way as a silencer. All you have to do is have an ATF Form 4 with a fucking tax stamp. You see that right there? That's an ATF tax stamp. This is a silencer. A bazooka is considered the same thing as a silencer, as a machine gun, as a short barreled rifle under the law. As long as you have you know, the proper paperwork for it, you can own a bazooka. You can own a tank. You can have a pistol with a silencer on it. You can have all that stuff. They don't care, you know, as long as you follow the paperwork. So, yes, you can own a bazooka. You can own a tank. You can own hand grenades. You can own artillery. You can own any of that shit. You know, people sell all that stuff, you know, online. As long as you have the right paperwork for it, and you go through what's known as a fit, as a federally firearms licensed special occupational taxpayer, aka class three dealer, you can get any of that stuff you talk that he wants. But just like President, former President Obama was lying about being able to buy machine guns online, Swalwell doesn't know what he's talking about here. So Swalwell's polling at zero percent, zero for a reason. Anytime he opens his fucking mouth, people come back to him and say, don't nuke me, bro. Because <laughs> he said that he would nuke, uh, or he said that in any struggle or, or revolt against the government, the federal government would uh, would use nukes against U.S. citizens. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, the dude is uh, the dude is a fucking nut job. He's, he's an idiot, and there's a reason why he's uh, losing. But, uh, yeah, good luck with that, uh, Swalwell. Just kidding. No luck at all. Um, what else do we have going on here? Uh, balance reporting on guns is crucial. Yeah. So, a couple weeks back, let's talk about this here. Uh, let me get the cam up. A couple weeks back, there was a mass shooting in Virginia Beach where a disgruntled employee um, basically snapped and decided he wanted to start killing people. He shot one dude in a parking lot that had nothing to do with... Um, 
with anything that we, as far as the news can figure out. And then he went into his place of work where he had just gotten fired that morning. He pulled out a pistol with a silencer that he had, uh, feder- you know, that he had federally uh, registered and gone through all the paperwork on. Um, he pulled out basically two pistols. He brought two pistols with him. One was silenced, one of them was not. And he used his employee key card to go into restricted areas of the Virginia Beach Public Works Office, and he b- killed... 11 of his co-workers um, and then killed himself after a gun battle with the uh, cops. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, so Andy Moon is commenting, ban crime not rights. This is a t-shirt from um, from SHOT Show where this is uh, about silencers. As you can tell, I'm a silencer advocate. I love silencers, so yeah, this is my ban crime not rights uh, shirt. So yeah, you know, this dude used a silencer, killed his co-workers, and the news picked up on the fact that he used a silencer, but because the news doesn't uh, believe in accurate reporting when it comes to um, t- when the news doesn't uh, believe in accurate reporting when it comes to pushing an agenda, they've left out uh, crucial things. You know, anytime there's a mass shooting, there's an immediate rush. Oh, the shooter was, you know, XX and X. He was right wing. He was disaffected, lone wolf, terrorist, whatever. You know, in this case, uh, the shooter in question was a uh, African-American male, um, you know, and he had followed all the paperwork to purchase a uh, silencer legally. He brought multiple guns with him, uh, yada, yada, yada. Well, you know, everybody focused on the silencer. Nobody focused on the fact that, uh, that uh, you know, nobody bothered reporting accurately on how silencers work. You know, silencers are not magic. They do not make, you know, it does not work like in John Wick or the TV shows where... <laughs> You know, it's just a quiet sound coming out. A silencer reduces a gunshot level from a jet afterburner to a jackhammer. It takes a unsuppressed gunshot of... uh, It takes a unsuppressed gunshot of 169 decibels and reduces that down to about 134 decibels. Still instant permanent hearing damage if you happen to be right next to it and not wearing ear pro. uh, But it's not as bad as it uh, could have been. But, you know, one of the things that the networks missed when they were rushing to report on this was that one of the co-workers that Craddock murdered um, was worried about, you know, about this nut job. And the night before, she was expressing her concerns to her husband that he was a dangerous man. Uh, She talked to her husband, you know, she had a concealed carry permit. She talked to her husband and was like, well, should I uh, bring a pistol with me to work? Um, and she decided no, because Virginia Beach Public uh, Works uh, employee policy bans concealed carry on the premises. You guys tell me, how well did that ban work to prevent the murder? TikTok answer is did not. The ban did not stop the murderer whatsoever, but it made sure that he had... Um, yeah, it, it, it worked to make sure that all of the victims were unarmed. And then because everything in there was key carded, you know, the police had a hard time breaching through the doors. Uh, they lacked the equipment to respond. So not only were all these people unarmed and trapped in there with him, they couldn't fight back because of the city, but the cops couldn't get in there because of the key cards. So, yeah. Accurate reporting, you know, there's a reason why the Virginia uh, beach shooting dropped off of uh, dropped off uh, the news, and it's because it did not fit the narratives at all. Um, also up in the uh, news, there was a, well, what the hell? Really? Seriously? Let's try this here. Okay, apparently I can't bring this up, but there's a uh, court case coming up uh, where a uh, university student is suing because she was... uh, A university student uh, got suspended from her school because she had a photo on Facebook with her with a gun. As you can see, here's the photo right here. 
She's uh, she's posting at fr- at a range. Uh, apparently, her and a friend. Uh, the friend has what looks to be uh, some kind of AK variant. She's got what looks to be uh, some kind of semi-auto pistol. She posted this on Facebook, um, and she got suspended from her college because of this uh, picture of her posing with a handgun at a shooting range. So she, um, you know, some bureaucrat at uh, First Coast Technical College suspended her based on that. And, um, you know, she's suing for free speech grounds, which is uh, great. I'd like to see that. You know, Second Amendment rights are not uh, second class rights. So it's good to see, um, it's good to see her doing so. Also, uh, Bill Maher urges liberals to learn more about guns as the issue is a 2020 loser for Democrats. Well, you know what? I wish uh, I wish people would take his advice, but the fact is, is as long as they're vocal about uh, wanting to ban guns, that's a great thing. Because when they start, you know, for basically after the 1994 assault weapons ban was passed, uh, they spent, you know, all the Democrats were tossed out of uh, office in what was called the Republican Revolution. Um, and it took them about 20 years to be able to get a majority again in the uh, Senate and the House. And during that time, they spent 20 years saying, no, 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 we're not anti-gun. No, we're not going to ban your guns. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. And then as soon as they did that, they went full court press again on um, trying to get a new assault weapons ban passed, pa- trying to pass gun control, and basically revealed themselves to be liars. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to see them out in the open uh, saying that they're for gun control because, you know, fuck them. I don't like to see that. And fresh after... Um, Fresh after this case in the news where challenges were uh, made to silencer laws based on the Second Amendment, um, where I believe, what was going on here? Um, Let's see. Okay, a guy that owned a surplus store in Kansas, uh, Shane Cox, uh, apparently sold uh, unregistered handmade handmade, um, silencers out of his uh, gun store and the premise was is that as long as you know his logic was because he made the silencer in kansas and never went over state lines um never traveled outside the state it should be uh um you know legal for him to to sell it well you know the fed atf didn't agree with that the uh state um you know didn't agree Circuit Court didn't agree, and Supreme Court chose uh, not to hear the case. So, eh, sorry about your luck, dude. Uh, Lesson learned, don't make illegal silencers. And uh, so him and one of the guys that bought the silencers are in jail, um, you know, and that's how it is. It's going to take a number of years for silencer cases to work their way through the system before we can even think about it, uh, repealing the NFA. Um, so yeah dudes sorry until then don't be doing stupid stuff like making homemade silencers um let's see this is uh, kind of close to me uh more crime in baltimore uh maryland where they've got some of the toughest gun control in the nation uh crazy shit going on there uh gangs of youths um you know are just basically going wild and hitting the waterfront uh, using social media to create what's euphemistically known as flash mobs where they link up you get you know 40 50 100 of them uh, going wild and attacking tourists um, and looting stores in Baltimore and crime is out of control my family lives in Baltimore Maryland I've got or my dad uh, is from there my mom before she uh, passed away was from there all my cousins etc everybody lives here I keep telling them get the fuck out of Baltimore and they're like oh no no we live in a nice area um you know it's not gonna be a bother to us I'm like okay you know my little brother went to Johns Hopkins or you know was did his residency at Johns Hopkins and got assaulted by a dude you know, literally, dude just walked up to his car, punched him in the face, and said, what are you going to do? Call the cops. They, they know who I am. You know, they're not going to do shit to me. Oh, send me to jail. I've been there a dozen times. You know, Baltimore is, you know, it's a fucking nightmare. And, you know, their gun control laws haven't helped. And um, SOCKS, man, it is what it is. If you choose to live there... You know, despite being warned, then that's what happens, especially if you got the means to move away. So last but not least in uh, news, dumbass ask Amy. 
This has been, if you guys are on social media, this shit has been making the rounds. Ask Amy. Dad horrified to learn that there is a gun in the house. You know, this, this, I have to read this verbatim. Dear Amy, this week I discovered that my intelligent, hardworking 24-year-old daughter who lives with me is a gun owner. And not a normal gun either. It's a 40 caliber semi-automatic and she has hollow point bullets. Oh my god. Amy, this is the kind of weapon a criminal would possess. She says it's for emergencies, but there have only only there have only been two home invasions in our neighborhood in the last 11 years. I've given her three choices. She can give her weapon to me, she can sell it, or she can move out in three weeks. I love my daughter. It would be so sad for her to move into a place that she could hardly be able to afford. But now I have to lock my bedroom door at night because I don't know what she's going to do. She says I don't trust her and is barely speaking to me. How can I convince her to stop injuring us? Signed, Dumbfounded Father. Wow. Wow. Well, first off, it's interesting. You know, this is, it's amazing to see that the daughter has the balls in the family and not the father. I mean, unpacking this, you know, there's only been two home invasions in the last 11 years in the neighborhood. Dude, that's two more home invasions that I'd want to see in my neighborhood ever. You're worried about your daughter? You know, your daughter who is up by your uh, freaking... Um, by your freaking words, she's a smart, intelligent girl. You know, intelligent, hardworking, responsible, owns a gun, and you're worried about her. Because, yeah, I could, I'd be worried about her too, dude, if you're this kind of controlling freak. So, yeah, uh, Amy responds, According to my research, hollow point bullets are Ill possessing hollow point bullets is illegal in 11 states. Is it illegal in your state to own this sort of exploding ammunition exploding ammunition wow how fucking dumb are these people yeah um so yeah in a report published in 2015, researchers at the University of Chicago found that 31% of households reported having a firearm in 2014 down from 48% in 1980 yeah, the, the there's a couple issues with that report, folks. Um, yeah, basically, what happens with that report is is that all those possession numbers are uh, based upon what's known as the uh, General Social Survey, where they do a survey of households and they ask, "Do you have any firearms in the house?" And when you look at the uh, when you look at the uh, trends in uh, uh, firearms ownership. Um, let's see here, page three. Okay, when you look at the uh, trends in firearms ownerships here, you can see where it goes from, you know, you're seeing 46%, you're seeing 39%, 46%. These are just households, and you can see it varies from year to year. But from 73 to basically, um, you know, 89 it was roughly 46% of households self-reported that uh, they own firearms. Well, you know, what happened in 1989? In 1989, uh, George W. Bush pushed or passed the first assault weapons ban, which banned um, fire or assault weapons from being imported into the U.S. But, you know, that didn't really change things too much. 1990, 42%, 91, 39%, 93, 42%, 94, 40%, 96, 40%, 98, 34.8%. So what happened in 19, between 1994 and 1998, or 1996 and 1998, that uh, uh, caused a giant massive downward spike year where it's going from 40% to 31% in 2014? Do you believe that 10% or 25% of firearms owners in the U.S., because remember, this is households, 
you know, owning firearms. And households owning firearms went from 40% to 31%, apparently, in 2014. Um, do you believe that 10% of America and 25% of firearms owning households said, we're not going to own guns anymore. Nope, not going to do it. We're not going to own guns anymore. Or do you believe, or do you believe that people stop telling complete strangers over the phone whether or not they own guns? You know that that would be uh, that would be my thing because you know where this decrease happened between '94 and '98. Um, and what happened in 1994? Well, let's uh, gee. The federal assault weapons ban happened in 1994, and people were worried that the federal government was going to go out and, you know, the instant background checks uh, got passed. And in 1996, uh, the instant background checks went active. Um, and surprisingly, all of a sudden, 10% of people stopped reporting whether or not they own guns. So, you know, Really? You think that 25% of gun owners voluntarily gave up their guns in inside of two years without seeing uh, the market, the secondary market flood with uh, used firearms? You know, the AR-15 platform is the most popular rifle in America. 15 million plus have been sold in, uh, in the last, um, you know, decade or two you know it's the most popular rifle platform out there period semi-automatics are being sold left and right concealed i mean there's there's freaking 17 million plus uh states or 17 million plus people in the u.s with concealed carry permits and something like 17 states now with kentucky uh where i am passing constitutional carry in in uh this month you know there's 17 states where you don't even have to have a permit to carry a gun you know, federal NICS uh, background checks figures, actually, let's take a look here. Uh, NICS statistics. You know, oops, wrong, uh, wrong one. All right. So, you know, looking here on the screen, and I'm not sure if we can see it or not, but yeah, you know, since the National Instant Background Checks started taking place in 98, you know, we have seen, or in 98, there was 9 million background checks that took place. Let me see if I can move this window here. Now, you know, 10 years or 20 years later, there's 26 million background checks that took place in 2018. You know, this is a, background checks have more than doubled. Background checks have almost tripled um, since since they've taken place, but they think overall gun ownership has gone down. They think that uh, less people are owning guns. They think that gun owners are so rich that despite 25% of people owning guns, you know, uh, or 25% of gun owners uh, giving up the guns, the remaining 75% who kept their guns have, trip, have more than tripled you know, they're purchasing to uh, to overcome, you know, the production things. It, it just doesn't make sense. These are, this is what's called confirmation bias, where people just hear the data they want to hear and they don't, you know, take other things into account. You know, SHOT Show attendance going up every year, number of concealed carry permits going up every year, uh, constitutional carry states going up every year, uh, you know, firearm stocks going up every year, ATF manufacturing numbers going up every year. You know, if overall firearms ownership was going down, you know, then all these numbers would be going down too. Instead, you know, you're seeing increases all across the board. Now, there is a documented effect called the Trump slump where with Trump being in office, you know, firearm sales aren't as strong because, you know, there's not as much of a worry about them being banned. But, uh, you know, still, you know, we look at the uh, FBI NIC stats, and the NIC stats are still up and up and up. You know, there's an upward, there's an upward trend every year as opposed to a uh, flattening or decrease every year. So, yeah, it doesn't make sense that they, that uh, dumbass Amy here, uh, or, you know, this report that dumbass Amy is talking about just doesn't make sense. Um so, yeah, she says, according to this study, there are more guns but concentrated in fewer households. 
Yeah, the thing is, is that there's nothing confirming this. There's nothing about that. Why must your household be one of them? Well, dumbass, they've had two home invasions. How about, you know, women like to talk about my body, my choice. How about shutting the fuck up and let her defend herself how she wants? Where did your daughter get this ammunition and weapon? Has she received any safety training or certification? Accidental gun death is a substantial risk of owning a gun. No, it's not. Accidental gun deaths, you know account for maybe 500 firearms deaths a year to put in comparison medical malpractice kills anywhere between 180 and 440,000 people each and every year so you're talking not even a tenth of a percentage point risk level compared to medical malpractice but she thinks accidental firearms death is going to be it you know um it's just it's it's you know, people all over the internet mocked this. The NRA uh, brought it up. Uh, Dear Amy's thing here has been the sub, uh, the source of memes all over the all over the web this week. So yeah, uh, I wholeheartedly uh, suggest that you guys join various Facebook groups or uh, firearms meme groups and stuff like that. And that way you can be treated to the idiocy that uh, you see with this every uh, week. So yeah. Um, yeah, it's 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 stupidity. All right, so yeah, six oh six p.m. Let's get back to the giveaways here. Uh, let's go to random.org because we still have the membership to give away here, and then we have um, the grand prize in the live stream. So let's uh, let's do this membership giveaway. Post number ninety five. So go to the giveaway thread. And post number 95 is probably going to be on page 5. Alright, so Navaja, post number 95. Navaja wins the membership giveaway. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, no, I'm not going to do that live streaming because that gives up too much sensitive info. So, yeah, um, now uh, we are down to the grand prize and live stream giveaway prize pack. Um, so, yeah, let's go to random.org and do that again. Boom. Uh, 460 is the uh, giveaway for the um, grand prize. 460 should be on page, I think, 23. Probably page 24, no, my luck. Nope, page 23 it was. The last post on page 23. Post number 460 is Epicurean. E-P-C-U-R-I-A-N. Epicurean, gold member, member since two, uh, 2010, 258 posts, wins the grand prize. So congratulations to Epicurean. Um, and uh, that's it for the uh, uh, grand prize. So, what are we left with? Um, oh, yeah, we've got to do the uh, live stream uh, prize pack giveaway. So, yeah, uh, before we do the live stream prize pack giveaway, make sure that you go to the Spider Co. Uh, Manix thread and enter if you haven't already entered in. Um, yeah, this is the Spider Co. Manix 2. Here is the prize for next week. We've got the uh, giveaway thread live. Uh, the Manix 2 here has the bladeforms.com logo laser etched on it. Make sure that you go in and register and uh, do that. Um, and then now we are down to the... Um... Sorry, I need to go to there. So yeah, now we're down to the uh, live stream prize pack. So this week on the uh, live stream prize pack... Uh, we're going to be giving away, of course, the Frost Cutlery Eagle Eye Hobo Knife um, from Frost Cutlery. Super awesome. Look at look at the quality there. This is quality that you cannot find um, elsewhere. This is just so awesome. Uh, somebody's going to get a uh, sticker from a company I don't know because I don't remember who this sticker is. Uh, K-Bar sticker. Somebody's going to win um, a... SEH1 Arrowhead. Somebody will win some desk crap that I've got here uh, laying around. Maybe an empty, uh, maybe a partially or mostly empty bag of sunflower seeds. Uh, who knows? There's going to be all kinds of stuff in the uh, prize bag. So what we're going to do now is. Um, 
I have a Microtech Jedi knife for sale. Um, yeah, I'm looking at the uh, chat here and trying to... Uh, yeah, Chinesium rocks harder than uh, Rex-21. Chinesium is like a dead ringer for S7 jackhammer steel. As a matter of fact, you know, American bridges are going to start being built uh, with, you know, leftover knives from uh, from uh, Frost Cutlery that didn't make it. So, yeah, there's uh, all kinds of uh, good stuff. How about the shirt I'm wearing? You don't want the shirt I'm wearing. It's nasty. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> – I want the seeds if it comes with a spit cup. Yeah, spit cup full of uh, sunflower seeds. There you go. Throw a silencer in the box. Yeah, that is not going to happen either. What's going on here? I'm getting a phone call from the alarm company, I think. Hello? Yeah, uh, this is Kevin. Oh, I'm, I'm in here right now, so yeah, I'm going to be arming it up soon. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Yeah, my uh, my security alarm company is asking me uh, um, why the alarm isn't on because it's 6 o'clock and I'm still here. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, no. Nobody's getting a silencer uh, this week on the uh, show, especially not a uh, 762 uh, silencer. Nobody's getting free tax stamps uh, on the live stream giveaway. But we are going to do uh, – we're going to give you a chance to win uh, some Chineseium, some stickers, and some good uh, stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's fun. All right, folks, so here's what I'm going to do right now. We're going to turn on the Bladeforms.com logo. We're going to turn on the music. You have until the music stops. You have until the music stops to get your Bladeforms username in chat. So get that uh, username in chat now. You have until the music stops, and then you'll go. So get your get your usernames in chat, get your usernames in chat, and we will go. All right, folks, come on, get your usernames in chat. You got basically uh, two minutes and 20 seconds left to get uh, your entries in. <sighs> so get it going, folks. All right, let's see here. Let's start getting some of these uh, usernames uh, going here. We'll start uh, cutting and pasting. All right, folks, you got two minutes, two minutes to get your usernames in the uh, chat window. Uitsu, didn't you, uh, didn't you already win something? It's Father's, uh, Tim Shuttlesworth, it's Father's Day, give a good knife. Uh, yeah, you know, I could, uh, I could do that. Let me, uh, let me see if I can find something appropriate to, uh, give, uh, give away. Gary W. Grayley, or X, Kia, Mark Grant, Mark Grant, I need your, uh, actual username, dude. Okay, there you go. Mark Grant is Marcus Bear. All right, anybody, uh, all right, anyone else? 
We've got Marcus Bear. All right, you've got 40 seconds. 40 seconds. Timo 5150. 40 seconds to get your username in, folks. Twenty seconds to get your username in. Ten seconds. All right. Time is up, folks. Time is up. Time is up. So we are going to do... We have got quite a few people here on the uh, giveaway th uh, thing here for random.org. So let's, let's see how many we got here. This is quite a number of folks that... Uh, you know, if I'm too much of a freaking idiot here to uh, get on the right screen, we've got quite a few people here in the giveaway uh, window. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So, twenty-two people uh, open for the uh, chat. You know what? Uh, give me just a second here, folks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Um, do I have a decent knife to give away for Father's Day? That's that's a good question. You know. All right, let's, um, oh, shit. Well, that wasn't good. All right, I dropped it on the ground here. Hopefully it's not uh, too damaged, but let's see what we can do. All right, folks, I found, uh, I, I've got two knives here. Um, we have a Spyderco Ambitious that, uh, Basically, I, I have collected a uh, bunch of knives from over the years from various things. And um, I went to uh, NRA show, or I helped knife rights at NRA show a couple years back, and I entered into their uh, sharper future uh, thing. And one of the prizes I won is a Spyderco Ambitious with the knife rights logo. You probably can't see it. And, of course, it says on the ever so tasteful in the back, all knives matter. So, yeah, um, Spyderco Ambitious, we have a choice of that, or we have a Cold Steel Lucky One here that we could do for uh, today's live stream giveaway. And the Lucky One here is a uh, small little pen knife, carbon fiber, does not lock. Um, so, yeah, totally, uh, totally neat. Um, S35VN. Actually, a decent quality steel. Uh, cold steel really has uh, stepped up with this one. So, yeah. Um, I guess whoever uh, wins the live stream today will have the op or have the uh, uh, choice of either the Spyderco Ambitious or the uh, Cold Steel Lucky one. How's that sound? So, yeah. Um, you know, whoever, uh, whoever wins will get that. No bazookas today. I am fresh out. I'm not going to be uh, shipping anybody a bazooka. But yeah, let's go to uh, random and let's pick out the winner. So when I hit the uh, rerun button here, it's going to pull uh, one of these uh, names from right here and display it up at the top. So you guys ready? If you guys are ready, let me get a uh, G in chat. Give me a G in chat if you are ready for the giveaway. And, uh, yeah, let's see what's going on. I'm seeing some G's. Show me some G's, folks. All right. Have you all liked and uh, subscribed to the channel? You know, if you haven't uh, liked and subscribed to the channel, come on, man. You know, it's, whoa, I'm seeing uh, a couple names that uh, didn't uh, get their username in. Oh, well. All right, folks. So it looks like you guys are ready. So let's hit rerun. Mark Grant, Marcus Bear. Congrats. Live stream winner. Congrats, folks. 
So yeah, that's it. Mark Grant, Mark Grant, Marcus Bear, you win um, the live stream uh, giveaway prize pack. So you get all the cool stuff. You get the uh, packet of soy sauce. You get the leftover bag of sunflower seeds. You get the uh, stickers. You get the Chineseium knife, and you get your choice of you get your choice of either the Spiderco Ambitious or the Cold Steel Lucky one. So yeah, folks, thanks for tuning in. Yet another week down of the uh, spy, of the uh, bladeforms.com year of giveaways. We're on week 25 next week, so make sure that you enter in for the uh, Spiderco Manix 2. Um, everybody who uh, won or won will be notified. Um, you know, if they're winning on Blade Forums, Mark, uh, I will send you a PM asking you for your info uh, shortly after the show is over. And folks, once again, I really appreciate you guys. Um, I really appreciate you guys uh, tuning in to watch me talk about idiocy um, or stupid stuff. And uh, appreciate the 20 years of support that you guys have given BladeForums.com here. Um, God, man, watching watching this, you know, watching the number of uh, active users just go plummet as soon as I say thank you for everything. As soon as the live stream giveaway is done, everybody flees for the hills. So thank you all for tuning in. Thanks for listening to my stupid shit. Thanks for supporting the forums. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe on this video down below. Make sure that you enter in into next week's thread. Make sure that you, uh, you know, if you have good relations with your father, make sure you say uh, thank you if your father's passed away. Uh, you know, think uh, think of him, and uh, basically hug your kids, folks. Happy uh, Father's Day, June tw uh, June sixteenth, uh, two thousand nineteen. Bladeforms.com twenty four year of, uh, week twenty four of the year of giveaways is done, and I hope you all have a great, great, great weekend for what's left of it. Have a good one. <laughs>